What's up guys, the very first episode of the Dobby career mode on FIFA 15 and I can't wait to get this series up and running. It is on the early access so um, this episode is a little bit short but then again it is over 10 minutes so not bad of a length for an episode especially when I did only record 45 minutes so let's get into this career mode and hopefully we can sign some fantastic players. The goal would probably be to get promoted to the Premier League, we narrowly missed out last season of course and uh, hopefully the players have got good potentials that's one thing i really can't wait to see um, how the players are growing and all that jazz so our target it was to pretty much get promoted i think the round of 32 for the cup and i think that's about it so yeah i'm pretty sure we'll be able to hit that goal and obviously maybe even get the title because the players we've got in this squad we don't really need to buy anyone maybe a center half that's about it maybe a younger goalkeeper to replace grant in uh, the Premier League but until then we're pretty much all ace for the championship because we've got some really good youngsters in the side we're probably going to loan out the most of them um gonna probably keep Calero because I'm not sure why this guy isn't an ultimate team because he did score for the first team and the likes of Luke Hendry hasn't even played for the first team and he's on ultimate team so it's a little bit confusing that is but nevertheless you're looking at this team and it's looking really solid for the championship so we're going to try and pick up another centre half slash right back and we have got shot on and loan but he is about 25 years old so we'll see who we can get off this market and the first player we're going to look to get is Callum Chambers. He'll be a fantastic signing for one season I don't think we'll be able to buy him because Arsenal did just buy him and another player we're going to look and buy is Nathan Ake from Chelsea. He has got some very nice stats on his card. Um, the one let down with him is his high attacking medium defensive work rates. Hopefully that doesn't uh, shoot me in the foot too much and hopefully he does a good job in the centre half position. So we're going to go in and look at our players that we've got. We're just going to get rid of all the dead wood, all the players pretty much over the 30 mark. Maybe a keeper couple here and there and then loan out all the uh, youngsters that are under basically 20 apart from Will Hughes and a couple others. So um, Shaquille McDonald, I think uh, Hendry Lau and uh, Hansen I think, I don't know if he's out on loan already, so our first bid for Nathan Ake was unsuccessful, I don't think Chelsea really want Sean Barker, so what we're going to do is try and sell Sean Barker, he's worth about 1.5 million at the moment, and basically use another 400,000 and try and get Nathan Ake, that'll be a very good signing for us, and uh, then West Ham come in with this 1.4 million pound bid, and we basically push up to 1.5, and I'm pretty sure they do accept it straight away, so a nice bit of business there. I don't see Sean Barker as a Ram anymore. He just hasn't played in so long. It is unfortunate, of course, a massively bad injury. And um, I don't know. I don't know where his career is going to go when he does eventually come back to full fitness. So we're just sorting up the deal with Nathan Ake there for £10,000 a week and a important first team player. Because I see him in the first team, he's uh, got very similar stats to uh, Jake Buxton at the moment. And he's 29. So, of course, Nathan Ake is only going to go up. So... We're just going to replace Buxton and Ake. We're going to put Whitbread on the reserves and then put Buxton in the substitution uh, position. I think that's what we do in the end anyway. And um, yeah, I think it's a good signing for the club, especially for just under 2 million. He has got at least a 80 plus potential, I'm sure. Um, I don't know all the potentials on, on career mode yet because I don't think all of them have been um, seen yet and all that jazz. So hopefully he has a good potential. And if not, we can always sell him for at least 3 million. So... We're just going to save the squad here. It's a little bit of an annoying thing. Normally it just saves it, but um, now you have to save it when you leave. So we have got a bid here for Lee Naylor. And for 61 rated 34-year-old, I'm not bothered what they uh, sell him for. So we're just going to get rid of him. So there is one little issue with this career mode. Jordan Ibe isn't at Dolby at the moment because I think he was like a late, late deal. So uh, we're just going to get him on a season-long loan. We could restart this career mode and sign all the players that we do get in this episode. Um, there is one player, I think it's uh, Koblenz from Germany, he's um, a centre mid, he's about 51 rated, so I don't know if it's really worth it to restart, we may as well just carry on because we pretty much made it as simple as we can. So we have got a bit here for uh, Shaquille McDonald on a season long loan, so we're just going to get rid of him because uh, we don't need him, we probably won't need him at the end of that loan as well because we'll probably sell him um, because we'll probably be in the Premier League, so we do get Jordan Ibe here. So. It is pretty much all sorted like it is now, um, just one player missing and I don't really see the point of restarting it because that one player is 51 rated, he has got like a 60 potential but I don't really see much point in doing it because he's not going to be useful at all. So we're just going to put uh, Ibe on the bench, I think we replaced Dawkins um, because obviously Jordan Ibe's going to have a lot better potential and we could even sign uh, Jordan Ibe at the end of his loan. So 
We do accept a season long loan for Luke Hendry here, another player that I just don't really care about, same with Max Lau, unless they've got like a ridiculous potential. I don't really need him. So we go into the transfer market and I'm going to try and pick up Sissy here. Uh, he is a 5 star skill, he does play the striker position, but he can play at cam, left mid, right mid, so he is quite versatile. Same with Gary Mackay Stevens, they can play out wide and in the centre attacking mid position, so both of them will be fantastic signings for this series. Both of them should have quite good potentials and I think they'll help the series quite a bit. So we're going to put uh, Paul Coots into this first deal with Sissy because he is worth about a million and drop the price to uh, 2 million bid and poor coot so hopefully they accept that because that would be absolutely fantastic of a deal and then of course for Gary Mackay Stevens I think we put 1.9 million and I think it's Luke Freeman because we don't really need him at the club anymore I think he has got at least a 70 potential so a decent player but I'm pretty sure Christie has got a better potential so we're going to put Freeman in the deal just about now and uh, submit that off and hopefully they do accept that as well because that would be a fantastic deal as well so we head into our first pre season game and it is against Ross County and I think we do unfortunately get an injury and it is to the captain Richard Keogh and that is a real big shame we are going to have to um, try and maybe try a shot on it centre back that could be an option but I'm probably going to just replace him with Buxton but we'll have to see how they do in game so um, he is out, out for three months so probably till about December and a little bit unfortunate that is but it is kind of good to get the injuries out of the way at the start than get them late in the season and uh, when you are pushing for promotion you just can't get there because you just haven't got the plays you need as well we're in the uh, window so we could always pick up another centre back if need be so we're just uh, doing up the deal here for CFC I don't know if you're saying his name correctly also if you want to correct me in the comment section down below that'd be fantastic and we're going to go in for Gary Mackay Stevens as well another great player if we can pick him up and he is on 20,000 coins a week so a little bit more than CFC but he is a lot more developed of a player and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to sell this guy on for quite a bit more if he doesn't work in the team, of course, and uh, if we don't really need him. So we will submit that offer and hopefully he does very well for the club and uh, they do come back straight away with accepting both transfer offers. So that's fantastic. So I'm pretty sure with both of these signings we'll be able to get promoted. Now, both of them we've got for some fantastic stats on their cards and five-star skills as well is going to be very helpful for just spreading teams out and uh, just creating some great chances and it's going to be a really nice career mode with both of these players. A little bit unfortunate we are losing Freeman and Coots, but I don't really see them as Derby players and I don't see them getting into the first team lineup. So we're just going to put them on the substitution bench for the time being. We did do uh, Siski a second ago, but we're just going to try and work out who we don't really need. And I think in the end we do get rid of Dawkins and uh, got Jordan Ives, Siski, Hughes and Shotton and Whitbread on the bench. So it is going to be a really solid team when... Keo does come back from injury of course so we're going to head into our first game of the episode that we are going to actually play and we're going to play in the third kit that's another nice thing I do like about this career mode we've got all three kits now so um, there's a lot of choice and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to use all of them all at uh, a different time and we're just going to head into our first game against Bolton a uh, pretty easy game it is in the Capital One Cup so it is a little bit of a test and we head into the game and in the 30th minute of the match Jay Spearing just holding up the player passing it to camera Prattley through ball to Beckford and Beckford does smash it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 in the game. A little bit fortunate to concede the goal in the game but straight from kickoff we do go down this right hand side. Christie passing it to Russell and then a late challenge from Camaro gets himself red carded and that's absolutely fantastic because it means we are playing against 10 men in the second half pretty much. So going to be a great advantage for us and hopefully we can thrive on it and get a few more goals and win this game. So. We head into the second half here and we do actually win a penalty straight away. Jamie Ward gets his shirt pulled and I really do like that animation, how you can see the shirt actually getting pulled and we step up with Chris Martin and for some reason I put it in the red zone and smashed it over the bar. So a little bit silly for myself, I probably should have put that away and got us back into the game but nevertheless we do score here five minutes later, passing it to Bryson, Bryson with a nice roulette and finesse into the back of the net. Maybe the keeper should have saved that but nevertheless we do get the goal there with Bryson and celebrate the first goal with this career mode. So we do head into the substitutions now and it just shows how much depth we have in this squad. We've got um, great players on the bench to replace. So we're going to put uh, Hughes in the CDM slot for Thorn because he's getting a bit low on fitness. Put John Nyber out wide and I think we do end up putting Sifsky as well in the striker position for Chris Martin. So it just shows how brilliant this career mode is going to be because we've got so much goodness on the bench and um, we've got a few good youngsters as well and it'll be nice to see how they develop on this career mode. So 
we just put him into the striker position here now and head into the game and hopefully with these substitutions they can make the difference and that difference happens in the 90th minute of the match Jamie Ward with the corner Sifsky on his debut heads it into the back of the net and gets the 2-1 win in the end a fantastic scoreline very lucky actually um, not to go to extra time because um, it would kind of kill my players that get quite low fitness but we do hold off that 2-1 victory and it does confirm our first win of the series so that is absolutely fantastic if you did enjoy this first episode it would be fantastic if we could get over 15 likes for the first episode of the Derby County career mode unfortunately we're not going to get any more till next week pretty much um, when um, the full game does come out hopefully I can get it out for the next Sunday but for the time being you're gonna have to wait till then so if you did enjoy this first episode smash the like button subscribe behind your channel and see you soon bye